we got the capo on the second fret and it's standard tuning so we're playing a D chord here which is actually an E chord with the capo I would call it like an intermediate uh, advanced beginner intermediate type song and um, it's all about your little finger basically what happens is we play that D chord and we kind of anchor these two uh, the B string and the and the E string those don't move that much right and we kind of are just just moving our little finger and taking our first finger on and off okay so I think before you get into the actual strumming part I think what you need to do is just learn how to play the melody um, just single notes like holding this chord right and uh, the song starts like you know the album he just he hits the A the D and the G string okay and that's about the only time he's gonna hit that A string the rest of the time that A string but the beginning the intro is and then he gets into the strumming we'll talk about the strumming in a minute but we want to just play this melody with single notes so what we want to practice is this okay so we're gonna start here on the uh, with the first finger okay so we're gonna be up here on um, G4, G2, G open, and then D4, okay? And for people who don't have a good little finger, <laughs> uh, this is be a real challenge. But it's great, it's great practice to get your little finger in action, right? And now we're gonna go here on D2, open G, D4, open D. So, so far we've got. And then we're going to finish it off with this. Okay, so that's open A, A3, open G, and then uh, A2, and then we're going to play the D string and the G string. Okay, so all together. Okay, now that's what you want to practice because there's no point in getting into any strumming until you can... And those are all downstrokes, okay? All downstrokes because the next thing we want to we want to do is we want to just get our hand moving and play the same thing, right? Okay, so we want to we're going to do this. Right? So our hand is Okay, so we're, you know, we're getting that rhythm going with our hand and like I said, everything is a downstroke on the melody. Okay, because the now with the rhythm, the strumming is that's kind of the feel of it, right? So you add the melody to that, and, and you're going to get this. Okay, so. Kind of the key to doing it, I think, is to um, learn the melody first. Okay, then do the melody with your hand in rhythm, but and keeping in mind that every note of the melody is a downstroke, right? Finally, add that rhythm in. Okay, and in the beginning. 
beginning, um, I read an article actually. Uh, there's a really good site, uh, the Beatles Bible. Just type that into Google and you'll find it. And there's a little history on every Beatles song ever recorded. And it talks about the history of the writing of the song and the recording of the song. So it's really, really a, a great um, source of information for anything Beatles. And according to that, when they were doing this song, John was showing them what he wanted and he was getting really frustrated. And, and he says, uh, and I'll put the quote actually in the description box here, and, and he got angry. Right, and he said he just started singing it and playing it really aggressively. So you'll notice in the beginning he um, he, he goes like yes. You know, he just really really hammers that last part there, and um, apparently it's because he was a little bit pissed off, right? Anyway, so um, like I said earlier, the first the first chord is those three notes, right? A string and G string and you go and then he goes he really hammers that there um, yeah so that's pretty well that the only other part is is I guess the bridge or the chorus I don't know what you'd call it but the next bit right where you go to the D minor and you just up down up down on that right Emphasizing da 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 da, but you're you're up down the whole time, right? E minor, to G, e minor again, E minor, A seven. And there's only other one little part there where he he does a rhythm thing that's a bit different and uh, the line we talked until two he does that so okay just sort of emphasizes that that rhythm And then all the other times, it's, it's pretty well straight. But even after saying that, you know, like all this stuff that these guys recorded in those days, uh, every take would be a little bit different. Anyways, great song. Like I said, good for an intermediate or advanced beginner. And a great strumming song, you know. But really good because it's strumming and melody at the same time, right? Okay. And just to summarize, like... practice that first right like don't start strumming it until you can play that clean all in down strokes right and then just add the just add the rhythm after you learn that okay it'll make it a lot easier and be a lot less frustrating great okay hope you get something out of it hope you enjoy playing it and uh, yeah we'll talk to you next time